Hello friends, welcome to another video of Accessible Computing YouTube channel, Access Technology with Accessibility. Hi, this is your tech assistant Ranatul and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Advanced Excel for Visually Impaired. In this video, we are going to learn, we are going to, I am going to teach you how you can apply the VLOOKUP formula in MS Excel. So, are you excited guys? Press the like button and do subscribe if you come first time, if you visit first time this channel and don't forget to uh comment your opinion into the comment section so without any delay let's start today's episode so i have already made a excel sheet where i have entered some data so let's read the data i am not going to repeat the key strokes because I have already told you in the previous video so if you want you can watch the previous videos the playlist link is shared in the video description below so now I'm going to top item A1 item price B1 and price so I'm just going to item A1 price B1 uh, I'm just going to uh, row wise 45,000 B2 Samsung A1 so Samsung A1 the price is 45,000 so uh, it's a it's a random data. I am not sure whether the data is uh, presented or not. Fifty-six thousand B3 Redmi A2. So this is another data Redmi it Redmi A2. The cost of the price is uh, fifty-six thousand. Twenty-five thousand one hundred B4 JBL music player. So JBL music player. Twenty-three thousand six hundred ninety-nine B5 LG TV. So LG TV. Thirteen fifty-nine B6 Bluetooth speaker. Bot Bluetooth speaker. So we have these five, four to five data. So let me reduce. Rate, 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 rate ten. Rate fifth. Rate twenty. So <coughs> now we are going to apply the VLOOKUP formula. Before going to apply the VLOOKUP formula, let me explain. What is VLOOKUP and how and why why we need VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup. Vertical lookup means we want to we want to uh, we tell the Excel to fetch the data vertically. I mean, column uh, wise, sorry, row wise, vertically. Vertically means top to bottom, row wise, not column wise. Okay, so if you want to search the data or fetch the data uh, column wise, I mean from left to right. So you need to use HLOOKUP which we will not discuss in today's video. If you want we will try to discuss in another video. But today we will focus only on VLOOKUP, Vertical Lookup. So VLOOKUP can be applied in single sheet, I mean in the same sheet, uh, sorry in the same workbook in different sheet and you can also apply the same formula in different workbook. But for today we are going to discuss about the a different sheet in same workbook now i have this one two three four five data but if you if you just think if you have one thousand or two thousand or five thousand data and now your manager says yes uh, i am giving uh, suppose you have uh, 100 product lists and your manager told you that we want to increase 15 products price 25 percent so he or she will give you the list and he will tell you hey please um, tell me the price what are the price please give me the price lists so how you can find number one you can find you can just uh, scroll all of your uh, large data i mean all the master sheet or master database or you can just apply you can just take another sheet, take new sheet, or the you have just uh, just copied the data which you have been sent by your manager and paste into another sheet of that workbook where you have the master data and apply the VLOOKUP formula and it will already uh, already I mean it will automatically look up your data and fetch your data and give you the accurate result. So let's see what the process. Step one: I'm taking a new sheet by pressing Shift plus F11 key. Sheet two, table a one, a one. Sheet one, table item A one. So let me copy the column headers. Item A one, a one. I copy. Sheet two, table a one. So let a me one. paste here. A one. I item A one. Price B one. Item price. So I'm just uh, increasing the column height, column copy. width. Num num. 
Book one ex price B one. So price item price B one. Price and C one. C one. I'm just giving here new MRP. New. C two new MRP price item A one. So uh for example, I'm just uh, giving, I'm just copying uh, two items. Two items I need data. So, for example, I'm just uh, going to the next sheet. I mean, one. One. So, please, uh, careful. Samsung A1 price is 45,000. Okay. So, I'm copying this. Copy. Sheet two. Item A2. Item A1. A2. A1. Samsung A1 sheet and one second table. I'm copying Redmi JLG TV Boat Bluetooth Speaker 8 LJBL Music Play Copy JBL Music Player What is the price? 25,100 before 25,100 Just remember because you need to check that Excel will give you the correct result or not Sheet 2 table Samsung Samsung so 3 So below Samsung I'm just pasting JB, this Samsung JBL Music Player Overflowing so for, recovery sheet. for example we just need Two, uh, these two items price will be increased by 10% for example Samsung A1 overflowing eight. so let one me item through C3 uh, select. increase the height some num, num lock on Fit. book one item A1 Samsung yes. A1 the two JBL music player A3 okay B3 B price B1 so price B2 so in this column we want the data so we want to fetch the data right so before going to before moving forward i would like to tell you one thing because this is very important you have to uh, you must have a unique data suppose for example here i am samsung a1 or samsung a1 two times uh, if 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 i give you an example with employee list if you have 100 employees or 100 student list there will be high ch chances that there are two to three students who carrying who are carrying same names so for those cases the VLOOKUP will not work this is the reason you have to choose the unique identification to apply this formula but here we don't need to uh, choose any other identification uh, in your employee list case or in a student list case you have student ID number role number or employee ID number so you can choose from or you can select that but for my case I have only five to six products so all the products are unique there are no duplication there are no uh, duplicate products name so that's why it's okay for me Price B B2. so in B2 I'm going to type the formula Edit, speak, speak, type. so the formula starts with equals V lookup equals V converts L O O K U P then left parenthesis left parent now you have to uh, mention the cell refer cell reference of your new sheet i mean based on which column i mean based on which cell you want to fetch the data so i want to fetch the data according to a2 the cell number is a2 the cell reference is a2 because in a2 i have the product name so i'm typing a2 a returns a2 then i'm giving a comma because separate is very very important comma then i'm opening left apostrophe or left tick you can say tick. then i'm typing the master sheet name remember you have to type the master sheet name ac accurately so you can just copy the sheet name and then paste it in anywhere or you can rename whatever you want you can do so in our case i'm typing sheet one S -A -E -E -T one then I'm closing the uh, apostrophe or single quote. Tick. I mean right tick. Then I'm giving the exclamation sign. Bang. After that I need to give the cell range or column reference for example uh, for uh, easy to say. Cell so column reference of the master sheet. So here I have to give column A column B because we don't need to give the exact cell number or cell range because we just need to create the relationship we don't need to uh, calculate something we just need to create the relationship between the column headers or between the columns which columns the data which uh, sorry uh, that correspond data I mean 
in our case the product name and the data which we want for our case it's price so if you have three columns in your master sheet for example product id product name and product price and you want the data according to your product unique id so you have to create the relationship between product id to product price for those cases you have to type a colon c or a colon d whatever so i'm typing a colon b a colon b converts the number to text box. right uh, then again i'm giving comma comma then a and b there are two columns right if you have a b c d or a b c then you have three columns then if you have a b c d then you have to you, you have four columns so you have to enter the number of the columns you have created in the bridge so here i am tapping two two then comma comma approximate match the values in the first column of table array must be sorted in ascending order so then you have to give the true or false here true means one and false equals to zero true means the average value and zero means the absolute value true are uh, true is not uh, basically used but false is used most of the time so do not use true just use false so i'm pressing zero zero then i'm closing the parenthesis right parent then i'm pressing enter let's see what will happen b3 see 45000 as formula b2 the data has been fetched from the master sheet so i'm just copying this formula and i'm copy pasting this b3. below let's see 25100 as formula b3 paste so the formula is now pasted and the original price is now pasted here now the data is fetched so if i change JPL for example music player a3 for example samsung a1 the 2 if i delete this and if i typing redmi e d m i space a2 a2 J Let's Redmi see. A2 at 56,000 as formula B2. So then uh, according to this data, the corresponding value has been changed in the second column. So according to this, we can easily calculate the uh, new MRP according to our needs like 10%, 15%, whatever we want. So this is how you can apply the VLOOKUP formula in MS Excel in the same workbook by using different sheet. If you like this type of videos, don't forget to press the like button and don't forget to share your feelings into the comment section. The Telegram channel and Telegram group link is given in the, into the video description below. So you can join there, you can ask your queries also there. So thank you for watching this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe, take care. This is Ratul signing off.